How to stabilize a hyperlapse in Premiere Pro. Hi, my name is Felix and today I will show you how to use warp stabilizer to create super smooth hyperlapses in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's jump right in. After starting Premiere, go to your project panel, double click to open up the import dial, locate the folder where you saved your hyperlapse and select the first frame. Go to show options and make sure image sequence is selected. Create a new sequence by right-clicking, new sequence from clip and let's do a quick preview of the hyperlapse here. As you can see there is still some shake left which will need to be fixed. To do so, go to effects and search for warp stabilizer. Double click to apply this effect, go to effect controls, scroll down here a bit and the first thing I will do is I will change the method to perspective. From my experience this method gives the best results for the hyperlapses I shoot. You can also try out different methods here. and. What what I will also change is the smoothness value. I usually go for something between 1 and 15%. For this hyperlapse I will choose 5%. You might be wondering why 1 to 15%. From experience I know choosing a low value and applying warp stabilizer multiple times, I will get better results rather than applying warp stabilizer at the default settings, as you will see in a minute. As soon as warp stabilizer has finished analyzing this clip, let's do a quick preview. As you can see it's already looking pretty smooth but for my taste we can do even better. So next step will be go back to the project panel and create a new sequence from the one you have just stabilized and select new sequence from clip again. Go to effects and apply warp stabilizer again. Go to effect controls again and make sure to use the same settings as before. So 5% for smoothness and change the method to perspective. As I've mentioned before, these settings are for this type of hyperlapse I shoot. If you shoot handed hyperlapses on a gimbal or whatever method you are using, you might need to change the settings here. You can experiment and maybe try out subspace warp or a lower or higher percentage of smoothness. The more hyperlapses you've shot, the more experience you get and see what works. In my experience, using perspective mode and a low percentage, and also applying warp stabilizer multiple times, you can even do three or four rounds of warp stabilizer, will give much better results compared to a single warp at 50%. So let's wait for warp stabilizer to finish again to check the final hyperlapse video. So warp stabilizer has finished the second time. Let's do a quick preview here. As you can see, the hyperlapse looks really smooth now and I'm happy with the result at this point. If your hyperlapse is still looking shaky or there's some problems, you can change the settings here, as mentioned before, try out subspace warp or a higher or lower smoothness, or you can go back to the project panel, create a new sequence again and apply warp a third or four times, as many times as needed to create smooth looking hyperlapse video. Now we've got a perfectly stable hyperlapse for further editing. As I've mentioned before, this method does not work every time. For me, this works when shooting on a tripod. If I would shoot a headed hyperlapse, I would choose different values for my warp stabilizer settings, like increase smoothness or maybe try out a subspace warp method. But here it is really important to test out a different method to find the way for your workflow. But I do hope this video gave you a general overview of the different methods you can apply in Premiere to stabilize a hyperlapse sequence. If you have any questions or ideas for future videos, make sure to comment them below. And to end this video, here are some more hyperlapses I stabilized using this method. Thanks for watching and see you next time.